Uh, I'm going to address uh, the reason I haven't been on here for the past few days, and uh, no, I didn't get suspended. I simply pulled the plug on the whole thing because after that last video where I was engaging somebody and then it winds up that maybe we're not talking about the same person, and then a bunch of emails, a bunch of PMs, how I'm wrong, I'm this, I'm that, how I'm ruining everybody's good time. Well, you know something? I didn't imagine what I saw, and I don't dispute what I was told. But it seems that if my friendship hinges on my connections with certain conventions, we're not friends. Because this is the bullshit I had to deal with. And to be honest with you, I've been sick since Friday. And the reason for that is because of the stress I'm under because of taking Boots for a walk and having her get surprised by another dog because people don't respect your space anymore. And Boots leapt about five feet in the air and came right down on her back and basically knocked herself on fucking conscience. So I'm out there trying to pick up a 70 pound dog, crying my eyes out, and I'm wondering why does all this shit have to happen to me? And I don't understand. Um, right about now, I haven't heard from a lot of people. A lot of people are pissed off at me for whatever reason. Only because I made a fucking point because somebody was stalking me. And that's the bottom line. Someone was stalking me. So, I don't give a shit about any of these conventions anymore. I could care less. And like I said, if my friendship is contingent upon my connections with this shit, we're not friends. We're not friends at all. All, all I am is just somebody to talk to at a convention or something like that and tell cool stories. No, we're not friends. And like I said, I'm just tired of this shit. And um, I keep saying I wasn't going to keep doing this, but I'm getting closer and closer to pulling the plug because I'm getting to the point where I got nothing to wake up to in the morning at all, period. Um... No matter what I seem to do, it doesn't seem to work as long as, you know, a free YouTube channel is a free YouTube channel. Nobody has to pay for it. Nobody, you know, nobody worries. And I appreciate when people do buy some stuff off me, but I'm not going to sit here and look for charity. I'm not looking for anything. I simply have product out there that I don't understand why it isn't selling the way it should be. But then again, maybe my stuff sucks. I don't know. All I know is I'm fucking tired, I don't feel good, I don't feel like calling a fucking doctor, I don't feel like going out 97 degree heat and I can hardly breathe. All I know is that since that video aired, nobody's talking to me. So if that's the way it is, fine. That's the way it's got to be, fine. I'll tell you something. Like I said, I got little and little and little to look up, up, wake up to. But I will make this perfectly fucking clear. No one looks forward to not being here more than I do right now. And I just wish I could leave. But unfortunately, I have two animals that depend on me, and I'm not going to fucking put them in jeopardy by ending my misery. But that's my story. That, that's, that's where this whole thing has put me, with, with the, the, the fucking dissing, the fucking rumors, the lies, and the fucking horseshit that gets spread around by a few people that, you know... Nobody calls them out. That's what pisses me off. None of my, n nobody calls them out. You know, you've got to be with this fucking shit or you're not cool. And you know something? I remember back when maybe you know, I was growing up and maybe out of a hundred kids, maybe three of them were into this shit, into horror movies and stuff like that. And those three kids got the shit beat out of them mercifully, unmercifully by the jocks, the teachers, the nuns, whatever. And when the convention scene first started, it was a haven for a bunch of misfits like me. And that haven was fucking cool for a few years. Until, all of a sudden, horror became cool and the wrong people got involved in it. The internet keyboard warriors, the, the sociopaths, all, all these fucking people. And just made it an adversarial situation. So, yeah, I'm fucking disgusted with the whole thing. I've been involved with conventions for over 30 years. And right about now, I wish I never attended a convention. I wish I never fucking heard of any of this shit. So, I don't know where it's going to go after this. I'm just expressing my complete displeasure and my complete, you know, chagrin that where a situation that put me in jeopardy has been turned around and made me the bad guy once again. So, again, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this. I don't know what I'm going to fucking do. All I know is I feel like shit. I'm going to go try to lay down. And, hey, maybe I won't get up after this. So, 
That's the story.